A lone man was walking in a dark and misty forest. The only sound around him was the rustle of leaves and the occasional hoot of an owl. The man had to pass through this forest to visit a friend. As he walked, various thoughts crossed his mind. Suddenly, he startled at a sound coming from behind him. He turned around, but in the darkness, he couldn't see anything. He continued walking. A few minutes later, he heard the same sound again. This time, the sound was closer. The man felt his heart racing as if it might leap out of his chest. He turned around and this time, he saw a figure in the darkness. The figure was approaching him. The man froze, unsure of what to do. The figure was getting closer and closer. The man could make out the figure's face. It was a terrifying face, bloody and ugly. The man wanted to scream, but his voice caught in his throat. The figure reached him and extended its hand. The man fainted. The next morning, the man woke up leaning against a tree in the forest. He looked around, but there was no sign of the figure. The man tried to remember what had happened. All he could recall was the terrifying face of the figure. He stood up and started walking with trembling legs. His friend would be worried about him. As he walked, he saw the figure from yesterday again. This time, the figure wasn't looking at him. The man quietly followed the figure from behind. The figure entered a house. The man followed the figure into the house. The house was dark and silent. The man followed the figure. The figure entered a room and closed the door. The man approached the door and listened carefully. He heard a sound from inside. The man couldn't understand what the sound was. He wanted to open the door but didn't dare. A few minutes later, he heard a scream from inside. The man startled. He opened the door and went inside. In the middle of the room, he saw a woman lying on the ground covered in blood. The man was horrified. He heard a sound behind him. He turned around and saw the figure. The figure was smiling at him. The man realized that the figure wasn't human. It was a monster. The man screamed and ran out of the house. He ran towards the forest. He could hear the monster's laughter behind him. He kept running, not wanting to stop. Eventually, the man emerged from the forest. He reached a road. He saw a car on the road. He stopped the car and begged the people inside for help. The people in the car took the man into the car. The man told them what had happened. They didn't believe him. They thought he was crazy. The man got out of the car and started walking again. He didn't know where he was going. All he knew was that he needed to get away from the monster. The man walked for days. He was tired and exhausted. One day he reached a village. He entered the village and found refuge in a house. An old woman living in the house helped the man. The man told the old woman what had happened. The old woman believed him. She told the man that the monster would come back to kill him. The man stayed in the old woman's house. The old woman took care of him. The man was afraid of the monster. The old woman gave him an amulet to protect him from the monster. One day, the monster attacked the village. It started killing people in the village. The man hid in the old woman's house. The monster broke the door of the house and entered. The man showed the amulet to the monster. The monster was afraid of the amulet and ran away. The man had escaped from the monster. The old woman told him that the monster would never come back. The man continued to live in the village. He was always grateful to the old woman.